everybody. Okay, so for our experiment this week, we are going to try rock uh, candy. And this is an experiment that you can eat when it's done, if it works. So you will need three cups of sugar for every color you want to do. So I'm going to do two colors of rock candy, so I'll actually have to use six cups of sugar. So that's a lot. You can just make one though. You need one cup of water for every three cups of sugar. So I'm doing six cups of sugar, so I'll have two cups of water. You need wooden skewers, so they look like this. If you don't have wooden skewers, then some string will do. The string um, can be any type of string as long as it's not nylon, like um, no fishing string that you would put on your um, fishing rod, because that won't work. You need a large saucepan. I'm going to use two because I'm doing two different colors and they have to be done in separate pans. You need a clothespin if you're using the skewer. Or if you're using a string, you can take a pencil. My pencil disappeared too. You can take a pencil and that's what you will use to dangle your string into the jar. Okay. Um, you need some food coloring. If you don't have any food coloring at, that, at home, that's fine too. You don't have to use it. Your um, rock candy will just be a nice white color. You can use a plate or a cookie sheet um, just to roll your skewers or your strings in sugar and let it dry before we start. Okay, so we're going to begin. So the first thing that you do is I'm going to do one cup of water in this pan and then I'm going to do one cup of water in this pan because I want two colors. Again, you don't have to do two colors or you can do as many colors as you actually want. Then I'm going to put it on my stove and I'm going to begin boiling them. Again, you will need uh, parent supervision with this because you're using a stove. Okay, so now I have three cups of water, sorry, three cups of sugar. Most of us have sugar at home. It was funny because when I looked in my sugar bag here, I actually had a can on it and we use this for one of our math centers this year. It's funny how I'm using it again for learning. Okay, so you want to put in about three cups of sugar for every one cup of water. And again, you have to put in as much sugar as the water will absorb. Okay, so we will begin a boil here and then we'll start dumping in the sugar. I'm going to measure out some more sugar over here for the other pot. And you put about one cup at a time, stir until it dissolves. Then another cup, stir until it dissolves. Okay. So I have three cups here, so I'll just put about what I estimate to be one cup. And this is one cup. And then I'm going to stir them. I have two different colors. Sorry, two different um, spoons because I don't want the colors to mix at the end. Okay, and give this guy a stir. And this is very similar to our crystal geodes in that you want the water to absorb it. Speaking of crystal geodes, I wanted to show you the latest. So these were the ones made with alum. And as you can see, it formed a beautiful geode here. So you can see that the crystals built onto other crystals. And the alum has a different shape of crystal. So for those of you that read those um, books on Epic, the definition of crystals were that they had a repeating pattern and the salt, the regular salt crystals have a different pattern, a different shape than the alum. So the crystals will form differently. Okay. 
And just to show you that, and stir, stir, stir. So it looks like it's absorbing the sugar so far. So I'm ready to put more sugar in. So I'll pour another cup here. Here's another cup-ish. It doesn't have to be like baking. With baking, you have to be exact in your measurements. In this, you don't have to be as quite as exact. So I will pour about a cup of sugar in here. I might turn it down because it's really starting to boil, but you do want it to boil. And again, you want your parents with you for this experiment. They might be saying, what on earth are you doing now? But I thought it would be a good experiment to do after our last one, because again, it's growing crystals. Okay, stir, stir, stir. I'll do both at one time. Okay. So while you are waiting for this to dissolve, I'm going to take a cookie sheet, or you can take a plate, it doesn't have to be a cookie sheet, and I'm going to sprinkle some sugar here. And what I need to do is I need to take my skewer, if I'm using skewer, I have to wet the, the part of it that will hang into the jar. Oh, I forgot to put jars on that, okay. And then I'm going to roll it in here really nice and coat it really nice and let it dry. If I'm using the string, woo, we got a new boil going on here, so I better turn it down. I'm sure you have whiplash by now. <laughs> um, if you have the string, you want to do the same thing. You want to wet the string roll it in the sugar and let it dry and the reason for this is very similar to the reason that we let the um, alum dry in the eggshells because you want to form crystal seeds they're called because crystal seeds there's our third cup of sugar and here's our third cup of sugar this should be about all it needs but if you can get more in get more in so back to the seeds the seeds are important because they are almost the first building block think of Legos so you need the first Lego to build the other Legos on top of crystals are the same thing they need that first crystal seed to build onto so letting the sugar dry on the stick or on the string is putting the first building block, putting the first crystal on. Okay, so these look very saturated. Now, once you cannot get any more solution in here, any more sugar in here, that's when we put our food coloring in at the end. I'm gonna turn the light on in my stove. Is that, yeah, that's high. So if you really look at this water, it looks cloudy. It should look cloudy. And actually, it should feel kind of syrupy and thick. That's called the viscosity. The viscosity is a um, scientific term, meaning that the water is thickening up. It doesn't feel as light. Okay. So I want to keep stirring. And if I need to add a little bit more heat, so the sugar. Okay. Let's go over here and we'll do the string. So here's the string. We're going to just measure out how much we need in the jar and enough to wrap around the... This is twine. Twine's a good one to use. So I'm just going to wet it. I'm going to wet it. And then I'm going to roll it in the sugar just to start forming those seeds. Now this has to dry for a while. Like I would even say an hour or so. Okay, 
So now I think that No, I still see sugar crystals in there, so I need to keep stirring until they're all gone. You have to have the sugar crystals completely dissolved. And once that has happened, then you may add in your food coloring, if you have it. You don't have to have it. Okay. I'm just gonna turn the heat up a little bit more. Because um, when you heat up the water, more sugar will dissolve. You can hear my dog tapping on the window, on the patio door, as I should say. She wants in. She knows something good is going on in here. Okay. All right. So this is looking like it is ready. So now I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to do a blue one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna use a metal spoon now because I don't want you to get on my wooden spoons. And just see how you like the looks of that color. If you want it darker, put in more. I like my um, rock candy to be just light in color. Now I'm going to put this one. I like these food colorings because these ones are neon. I'm just going to put a couple in there and see how those turn out. Okay, it kind of gives me a light purple color. Might put in a little bit more. All right. So we are going to let these completely cool. We're going to let the sugar on the skewer or the string completely dry, and I will see you in about an hour. Okay, so I waited an hour, and it looks like the water has actually formed a, almost like a crystal top. So I'm just gonna give it a stir, and um, you can either pour it into your jars or you can pour it into a measuring cup to pour into your jars to make it easier. I think I'm gonna do that just because this has a pour spout. Now you can see it's a pretty thick liquid, very similar to syrup. Okay, so I'm going to pour this into my jar. try and get as much liquid in there as I can because that will mean more crystals floating around in the water so there it's a little bit of a sticky experiment so you'll really have to wash your counters when you're done okay so now I dried my wooden skewer that had the sugar on it now this is an important part. The um, skewer or the string cannot touch the bottom or the sides. It cannot touch any of the jar. So you wanna be very careful not to let it touch the bottom or the sides, okay? So I'm gonna clip this on like this and set it down and just make sure it's not touching anything. Perfect. I can probably lower it a little bit and I'll do that in a minute. Okay, so now this one has even more of a crust on it. Maybe because there was a little bit even uh, more sugar in this solution than my purple one. Thick, thick, thick like syrup. Okay, I'm going to pour it. Pour it in here. Looks like a real science experiment. Then I'm going to pour it in my jar. Get as much in the jar as I can. Okay, there. So if you have the string instead of the skewer, you're going to take your string and you're going to sort of wind it 
around your pencil like this. Or you can even tie a knot if you want. Just want to make sure it doesn't fall. Okay. Don't and tie it, a knot. Don't tie a knot? No, I'd tie a knot. You, you would tie a knot? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Paige is saying she'd probably tie a knot, so I will do that in a that's pretty secure though. Okay, you decide if it's secure or not. So again, we don't want this touching the bottom or the side, so I have to kind of see where this lands. It's kind of hard to see, but that should be good right there. The string falls right about there. Now, we're, go we're going to go place it in a spot where it won't be jostled or touched, and I will see you in a few days and see what happens. Okay, talk to you soon. All right, it has been about six days and we're ready to take our raw candy out. Now, sorry for this filming. Um, as you can see, this one has developed quite a crust around it. That must mean it was really, really saturated with sugar. So Paige is kind of using a skewer to poke around and then She's going to gently pull that string out. Okay, we'll see what we have in the way of rock candy. Okay, so it's a little bit small, but hey, it's something. So we're gonna put it on the plate to dry. Yeah. You know what it was? It got pulled out because this is so thick. Oh. Like, this is too thick, see? Okay. So let's do our purple one now. It's just all like slurry. So now we're going to do our purple one. Okay. So let's see if we had... Okay, so there's a little bit more rock crystals on this one. So we are going to let those dry and then maybe have a little sugary snack later. I hope yours turn out. Don't forget to post your pictures on content.